What is poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We're back to uh, the old standard of uh, best of three, and we got some marching fishes leaves to remind you to march on over to the subscribe button if uh, you uh, haven't already done it. Some of you think you are subscribed, and you probably aren't. We want to hit 3k by the end of the year so we can open up the Discord to the public. We've got uh, Silly Week to detox after the Glasgow Regional, which, you know, footage is still going up on the channel, best of one. But we're back to best of three as we got Sendromon facing off against Fish. Uh, so we're going to open things up with Shumon in the back and we're going to put the yellow training. Bukamon Hatch into Gomamon into Promo Seedramon into Blue Training of his own, Huang Kun. We are going to promote, okay. Presumably trying to get an Orisa out. We're going to go for a zero cost Evo. Free Orisa comes out. Then, are we missing the Chaparro? Training for two? No longer missing the Chaparro. Uh, the thing is, the Orisas when stuff gets deleted, and this is a deck that bounces a lot, so I am very concerned. Uh, Chaparro is going to come down and is going to come out. We are going to promote, so I think we are going to try and answer the board. Pankun is going to pop out the Goma, which is going to draw two. Uh, where does he go from here, though? Straight into Shangpeng. Shangpeng is going to suck up, and that is going to bounce the five back to hand. No other effect. Though? Never mind. Out comes two Digimon. So the Huang Kun and the Goma back out. So that Goma drew him four cards. I do of course gain the one memory. So weren't able to fully uh fully keep turn with it, because then we would have been doming for some real damage because the Seedramon would have given something rush. And instead, we're just gonna be building up in the back. Ah, uh, Pillowmon here I don't hate. Yeah, I don't hate that there from Kai. Uh, so we're going to have Gomamon come down. And we are going to swing in the uh, Shangpeng. In goes Goma. Goma hits the other trading. So everything lives, which is actually super not ideal if you're Sendry. And then we're going to stop you from being able to reduce Digivolution cost. That's brutal. In Archetype Floodgates as well, that might be enough to just completely lock down this game. Because uh, two cost Evo and then the Chaparro might be able to close things. We're going to go to three. So you will get two Evos. Okay, we're going to go Shushumon. Okay, going to stop it. So the sh uh, the Shangpan can't swing, which is pretty good. But yeah, you do you do have to commit Chaparro here, which is so frustrating. Like, there's no no evol evolving shrink on these, and no early tokens to be able to commit. The Pillowmon is, of course, still going to be looking to go like bar for bar floodgate wise. We're going to swing with jamming. Never. Yes, we are going to be swinging one check jamming with the Shushumon. And stopping the, uh, well, hitting sec minus one on the Hankin. It does survive, which is kind of peak. Can't attack Digimon, I believe, is what the Shangpeng has. We are going to kill off the Floodgate, though. There's four bodies, and we do have a training straight into the Seedramon. Seedramon going to shwang in. Is going to hit a Shumon. Gomamon going to shwang in. And then Hankin is going to take us to game two. Matrix Digivolution. Yeah, today's sponsor is me. I appreciate everyone supporting me as they have, and there are plenty of other ways to support. The memberships, Twitch Prime, and all of that are great ways to do so, and just making sure that in addition to slapping like down and making sure you are subscribed, there are plenty of other con things that I do that I really love doing and take a lot of work and appreciate if you guys also gave them a shout and gave us some honest feedback on them because the only way we can make them better is if people tell us what they like and dislike. But yeah, that's uh, it for today's sponsor. Appreciate you if you didn't skip it. Back to the video. 
I bet you all have missed this since it's best of three. We're back to saying a big old thank you to every single one of our members. Starting off at the top with the Mega Just Justice Josh, who is an ultimate here on YouTube as well as a tier three on Twitch. We've got the Tommy NT, Tommy Tricks on the sticks on the right side of your screen, three strike rule and Brad coming in at the ultimates. And then for our champions, we do have Shinny Carry, Coffee Deus, DHM, Solar Ouroboros, King of Knights, Andy Fing, Squid Eater, Benji Gimmer, Thomas Yates, Kenneth Smith, the Marta FGC, Donkey, Octavian, and Chava. Thank you everyone for all of your support. Getting that bonus content from the podcast one month early. Big thank you to all of our rookies as well, especially our new rookies and our new Digi Eggs who have been helping support the channel as we go into game two. And we are going to hit the training, which is going to pick up the Chaperone rather than the Wonder Stomp. So I think we drew into exactly what we needed. Training, find uh, training. So a nice little, uh, what if we just both traded delay options back and forth? We're going to evolve for one cost thanks to the Shubon reducing it. Gets the Orisa out and then we can go for a one cost Evo into the Chaparro with the training. And we do have Sendril, so we can go Sendrilmon. Okay, so they are going to go for the four cost Evo. Dorymon, um... You know, he kind of looks like a mouse if you're like missing your glasses and you don't look very hard. Like a little Dorymon is basically, ah, uh, is basically like a little mouse guy. Or is he more like a hamster? Cause he did die in a very comical way. Explodes and turns into a rabbit in a shoe. And we are going to stay in the back. So there is a chance here for Sendromon to actually be able to kind of like push the tempo. Once again, start of main, out comes Dorymon. He is there and he is looking to get some value. Where do we go from here? Hmm. We're gonna go for the training for the low cost because the thing is, they can swing this Sendromon without having to actually um, like put themselves in danger of like a swing over crack back. Obviously you gotta be really careful because this board, whole board could get drowned. Um, but it's really just seeing how much value you can am amass. We're gonna pop the Dorymon as once again, our gerbil is gonna explode uh, to get the attack. So we do have to fully resolve the attack. Okay, never mind. no we don't. It's on the deletion. So, ooh, in comes the Junkmon. And it is still only one pop and that leaves one Orisa to be able to kind of try and go crack for crack but as a reminder yeah it's only deletion protection and we do not have any deletion here as so we're going to climb fully up to the plesio load up the shang bang and now with three memory to play with you can still make an aegis here you can go plesio x there's a couple of things you can do that really like put the pressure on okay we're going to go for the aegis aegis plays out shang pong and we're going to load up the shikuemon which is then going to double bounce the, uh, is going to double bounce and then the Aegis also gets to bounce the Sendril. Out comes the Shichue as well, so we're still able to get the value there. Suck up the Shichue once more. Swing in as we do clear two security. Ooh, and he was able to keep turn thanks to the Bukamon. It's giant crazy. Out comes Goma off the Hankun. And now we're set up in a pretty rough board state. At the very least, it was ending on Goma, not ending on uh, Siako. So we can still, like, five memories a lot. Like, five memory is a lot. I think the, the thing that we do have to clarify is that if you accidentally play a token off of uh, off of the central stuff, the uh, Aegis is going to play out the Shangpang and the uh, the you know the sweep starts again. These are shark infested waters. And you must be incredibly careful. We got Noble Family Arts, which I do think is kind of a cute tech. Obviously, that would pass turn. So I don't know whether like the plan is to see if you can full clear this board or whether you try and climb. Because obviously the Aegis is really frustrating, and like the ability for the Huangkun to like be just kind of cycling bodies in and out is like horrendous. Uh, it's the Aegis Ramon that looks to punish you for playing stuff out, and I believe it's the Plesio that's looking for the bot deck stuff. So, really criminal lineup that we've got here. I think Kai can climb, but the problem is they have to figure out how they're climbing. 
We're gonna go with Noble Family Arts, which was this three, allows to minus six a body, which takes the Hankun off the table. Do we crack the training? We're gonna Wonder Stomp to draw one and then decline to play out a puppet. Uh, this feels rough. Yeah, the Aegis like really makes this matchup hard. Not only is it bounce, which obviously gets around the Orissas, but also just having the, hey, don't you dare play out a body is kind of rough. And I suck up the Goma as we swing in for the two individual checks. And we're gonna put the Seedramon in the back. And okay, blue boost. So what's actually good about this is it keeps the number of Digimon on the board small. Start of main, we're gonna go to four off the Orisas. Still no Siako, but um, by having only two bodies, it means that Sendril actually really struggles to go for the, um, I Sendril's really gonna struggle to get the minus DP because a lot of their gimmick is like three bodies on board. And by making it just the two with only the rookie, there's no way for them to safely play out without the Adrostromon sniping them on the crack, like immediately on the crack back. So, and with the rookie in the back, you do actually have to spend your time finding the minus DP for this. Like you actually do have to clear this Adrost one way or the other. I'm gonna put minus three on it, which brings it from 14 down to 11. Ah, oh, there's just no way for them to do this. It's so frustrating. We're gonna put the Junkmon in the back. Yeah, there's just no... Unless they had like Louie, there's no way for them to be able to get this much value, but then Louie's a lot. So we're gonna go, okay, with the Pillowmon, that's kind of a cute way of doing it. And you're threatening a level six yellow ace. We're gonna swing in, it's gonna hit an Orisa, and we are gonna try and swing the last? Oh my gosh, it, they're just gonna swing and suck up the body anyway, so it actually may not matter. We're gonna swing, we're gonna bajillion. Oh, we're sec minus. We're sec minus, that's why we're doing it this way. Okay. So Kai did buy themselves a turn. They're still in a pretty not so great situation. Plessio gonna look to play out the Goma because we did manage to answer the uh, body. We're gonna choke to one and then when we push up, we're gonna gain start of main, go to three. Again, you're kind of put in this weird blender where you, you have to find a way to do all kinds of minus DP just to get the clear. Now you actually do have to full clear board or you sec minus a billion things. We've taken the sec minus inherits out really smartly here. Swing in does get, wait, do we have jamming? No, we do not. Uh, a puppet did die though, so you could, <laughs> I mean, you could try an Orisa to float, but if you do, <laughs> if you do, oh, never mind. The pillow mon's two-sided. Actually, we cannot float. We cannot, uh, Overclock, we cannot anything here. Wow, this floodgate really put them on the back foot. So we are gonna swing and we are going to attempt to finish it off. So really good stuff there from Trix and from Kai for being able to stall out that game when they were on the back foot. If you like seeing Sendromon face off against an unlikely foe, kind of like a Liberators matchup if you think about it. Liberators matchup to be. Make sure to like and subscribe. Big thank you once again to all of the members that have been supporting. Also, uh, at some point, I'll probably try and get them to make like a, a, a sponsor real thing but like take a look at the link on screen hopper and hair it's a new art studio that uh kai and uh, emily friends of the show uh have been working on so uh yeah big thanks to everyone and go show them some love and as always if uh today's your birthday then happy birthday and have yourselves a damn good one